Hi everybody, I'm Christina Forever, and I would like to give my thoughts on the Ilya Mysterio Buddy Murphy situation. But first, a few side notes from SmackDown. It looks like Jey Uso has become like a stooge or something for Roman Reigns, or he's going to join him and Paul Heyman or something, because he went off on Daniel Bryan last night, beat the shit out of him. So I don't know if this is leading to a Jey Daniel uh, match in the future. I know it can't be this pay-per-view because he's going to be on the Jay's going to be on the Survivor Series team. So I guess we'll see where it goes from there. But yeah, it definitely looked like Jay turned heel last night and maybe a possible feud for him and Daniel Bryan. And we'll have to see. Next side note I would like to talk about before I get to Aaliyah and Buddy is Bailey uh, has a rematch for the SmackDown Women's Championship next week against Sasha Banks. Now, given Sasha Banks' history with keeping titles, and I mentioned this in my Hell in a Cell review, they usually never let her keep the title beyond like four weeks. But if they do this, it won't even be... Well, I guess it will be a week when she wins the title, but it won't be four weeks. Usually that's her the longest reign that she ever has, four weeks. I hope they let her keep the title. Not that I particularly care about Sasha. I don't have anything against Sasha either. But I haven't uh, really cared about anybody in the women's division since 2015. Um, I really hope Vince lets her keep the title and just doesn't give it to her for like a week and a half and then take it away from her. That would be really fucked up. Throw the lady a bone. Give the lady a chance. So we'll see where that goes. But you know how the, this usually works. Especially since it's... Uh, on just a regular SmackDown. It's not on a pay-per-view or anything. It's just on a regular SmackDown. So anything can happen. If you think that uh, she can't lose the title, well, think back to this. Do you remember when Charlotte Flair took on Asuka for the SmackDown Women's Championship? And you thought, no, Asuka's not losing the championship. It's way too close to WrestleMania. And what happened? Asuka lost the championship, and it became... Both Raw and SmackDown Women's Championships on the line for WrestleMania. So if you're thinking that uh, Sasha can't lose the title next week, you're very mistaken. Like I said, I hope she doesn't. We're going to have to see where that goes. Um, but I guess we'll just have to wait. Okay, anyway. On to why I'm making this video. Like I said, I want to comment on the Aaliyah Mysterio Buddy Murphy situation. If they still call him Buddy Murphy... Do they still call him Buddy Murphy, or did they just drop his name and call him Murphy? Because Vince is known to do that. First, uh, Mustafa Ali was Mustafa Ali, and then he was just Ali. <laughs> now he's back to Mustafa Ali. So what, did they just drop the Buddy for Murphy's name and just call him Murphy? Because that's, that's what Aaliyah calls him. She calls him Murphy. She doesn't call him Buddy, so... Does anybody know? Let me know in the comments. But anyway, um, they came out last night, uh, so... Buddy could apologize to Dominic and uh, Ray. They don't come out, but Seth Rollins does. He gets into the ring with uh, Buddy and Aaliyah, and they have words. Eventually, uh, Buddy and Seth come to blows. Dominic comes out to try to protect Aaliyah. Him and Seth Rollins get into it. Then Buddy and Seth get into it. Then Dominic and... Buddy get into it, and then uh, Ray comes down to try to help Dominic, and they start kicking Buddy's ass a little bit, and Aaliyah gets in the way, she's like, stop, I love him, I love him, and Ray's trying to tell her, let's go, she's like, no, I'm not going with you, and she kisses him, so I guess they're a couple, and I guess people have a problem with this, we'll get over it. One, she's 19, so he's not doing anything illegal. Two, it's a fucking show. Three, even if she does have a boyfriend, which I'm hearing she does, but I don't know if she does. I honestly could care less if she has a real-life boyfriend, because I don't care. But anyway, people are complaining because she has a real-life boyfriend. Well, who the fuck cares? It's called acting. When somebody's acting in a movie, if they're married to somebody in real life, you don't go, oh, they shouldn't be doing a love scene with this person because they're married in real life. No, you just enjoy the fucking scene and shut up. And in this, that's what you should do. Enjoy the fucking scene and shut up because it's all acting. It's not real. But yeah, does anybody else get like, uh, 
My Stephanie McMahon, Tess Sheen vibe, we're back in the day, because I do. Even like Aaliyah's innocence, like, she kind of reminds me of Stephanie, and the way of her innocence, Stephanie used to have innocence like that before they turned her into a slut character. Even Dominic with the, uh, being the overprotective big brother, you know, I don't want you with him, it re reminds me of Shane. The only thing Dominic's missing is the Mean Street Posse, which I hope he doesn't get a group like that, because they were annoying. But I'm getting major vibes to Stephanie, Test, and Shane with Dominic, Aaliyah, and uh, Buddy. So it was kind of taking me down memory lane, because I was only, I think, about 11 or 12 when all that was going on. So it was taking me back to my childhood, because it was just reminding me of it. So... We're, we're gonna see where it goes from here. Maybe Aaliyah pulls a Stephanie McMahon and turns on her family like Stephanie turned on Vince and went with Triple H. Maybe that happens, but even if they do try to duplicate that, which I'm not saying that's what they're gonna do, but even if that's what they're going for, it's not gonna be as epic as when Stephanie McMahon did it. So, we'll have to see where it goes. Or right, what do you guys think of it? Do I have a bunch of complainers that are watching this video, or are you going to be cool about it like I am? But anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.